creme brulee redneck style. This recipe is really straightforward, like a lot of the ones we show you guys. We're gonna start out with a quart of heavy cream that we're gonna warm up. So you wanna heat this up until just about a simmer. And then what we're gonna do while that's warming up is we're gonna take half a cup of sugar and six egg yolks. So I've already separated five of them. I'll separate one more here for you guys. Show you how to do that. Just crack it. And transfer it back and forth. Separate the yolk. Just like so. I'm gonna dump that in the sugar to make six. And we're gonna mix this just until it's nice and mixed and the sugar starts to turn color. This, like I said, is a really simple recipe. And for those of you guys trying to buy a new grill and you wanna justify it to the wife, this is what you do. Just buy the grill. When she's mad at you, go outside, make her creme brulee, and that'll be your apology, and then she'll be all good. So you see that's, that's mixed and starting to turn color just a little bit and that's gonna be good. We're gonna let this sit and when this cream is heated, then we're gonna slowly combine them. All right, that's warmed up. So I'm gonna kill this and let's get back over here to our sugar and egg mixture. We need to add a little vanilla, a tablespoon and a half. that in. Some people heat this up in the cream. I put it in the sugar and egg mixture. And we're going to transfer this to a larger bowl so that we can put our warm cream in here. All right, now we're going to put our heavy cream in this mixture. You wanna do this slowly, because you don't wanna cook these eggs. Mix this up thoroughly, and then we're gonna fill our little ramekins. Perfect. We're going with little mason jars because that kind of screams Texas and meat church. You wanna put these in a pan that you're able to put some water in. We're gonna fill this pan halfway up with warm water before we go to cook these. Fill each of them up. I'm not going all the way to the top. All right. We've got some warm water here. Fill it up to halfway up, halfway up on the ramekins. about perfect. All right, we're cooking these at 325 degrees for about 45 minutes or so. We're cooking these on the Traeger Timberline. Great option to get outside and cook these outside. You could cook them inside your oven, but that's not very much fun. All 
We're running a hickory pellet today. Um, you got a lot of options. I wouldn't go with a pellet or a wood that's too heavy so they're not too smoky. But we're gonna check these in about 30 minutes. We just want them to be set up nicely. Should take about 45 minutes or so, and then we'll be back. So these have actually been cooking for almost 50 minutes. You wanna make sure the creme brulee is set, but the middle is still trembling. And then you gotta take them to your refrigerator and you've gotta let them set for three hours to overnight. I like to go overnight. Just kinda test them. Still trembling a little, they're getting a little color. These look nice. So I'm gonna go take these to the fridge. You gotta let them set up three hours, but I made some last night and these set up overnight. I actually like to go that route. One final step. You gotta to top each of them with about a teaspoon of sugar for this size, maybe a tablespoon if you use a larger ramekin. Cause you're actually gonna to torch this sugar to get that nice crisp that we all love. Here's the fun part, playing with fire. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more while I let that sit and then we're gonna taste it. I've topped them all with sugar and torched them. Got a nice crispy top on them. If you wanna garnish them, you know, get you a little mint, some raspberry. It's time to eat. I like that crisp right there. Look at that. The crispy from torching, torching that sugar. Crunch. Ain't mad about that. That was awesome. And we made it outside. I'm telling you, fellas, go buy your expensive, fancy pellet grill. Don't ask permission. Make a creme brulee. It's gonna be all good. If you guys like this video, we're just trying to inspire you guys to get outside and cook. Subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time.